Let's have a look at how to create an awesome looking gradient background in Canva. Let's dive right into it. The first great way to add a gradient background is by using Canva's Photos tab here in the left toolbar. Simply click on that and then under Photos search for gradients. You will then get all sorts of great looking gradients and you can simply drag and drop them onto your design to use it as a background. First of all let me simply delete the gradient that we already have here in our picture. And now to add one of these here simply click on it. And once it is added to our design here, I would simply right click on it and then click on set image as background. And just like that we have added an awesome looking gradient as a background for this lovely woman here. Now if you're a Canva free user while browsing through these gradients here, you will see that some of these gradients actually have a crown symbol here in the lower right corner. Whenever that is the case, please note that then these gradients are only available for Canva Pro users. However, even as a Canva free user, you have plenty of gradients here that you can use for free. Now let us have a look at yet another great way to make a gradient background in Canva and that is by using Canva Elements. To get things started simply click on elements in the left toolbar and then search for gradients and make sure that graphics here is selected. And once again you will find a lot of awesome gradient elements here. Now the cool thing here is that some of these gradients here on the graphics are actually customizable. So for example let us click here on that element here. I will just move it to the left a little bit. And once you add that element here to your design, you will see here on the top toolbar that you will get two color squares. And that actually means that the colors of this gradient here are actually customizable. First of all, before we click on these color squares here, once again, let me just set this gradient here as a background. Actually, our model here always gets a little bit in the way. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the page here and I'm simply going to delete the woman for a second here on our first page. So that will make it easier for us to work with our gradient. And then later on, I'm simply going to add our woman again to our design. So now when you right click here on this gradient you will see that the set image as background option here is not available but that's not a big deal. So what we can do instead here is we will reduce the zoom here in the lower right corner of the screen and then we're simply going to drag our gradient so that it fills the whole design. Just like that. And now ladies and gentlemen the fun begins. We're going to click on one of these color squares here in the top toolbar and we can now define the exact colors for our gradient background. So for instance if I would like to have something else than this turquoise or whatever this is then I could simply click here on that first color square under document colors and I can set this to whatever I want. I can choose another color just like that here just by dragging this fader left or right. Or I could also just input a specific hex color here to use a very specific color. Another cool thing that you can do here is to use the color picker tool. This one here, simply left click on that. And then you could simply hover over any color here on the screen. And once you found a color that you really like, just left click and our gradient will change into that color. That's a really really cool thing in case you have an other photo for example that you really really like and then you could just use the very same colors for your gradient with the help of this awesome color picker tool. Now as we have defined the first color here of our gradient we can also do that here with this color on the right the second color of this gradient simply click on the right color square here in the top toolbar to do so and once that one is activated we can now choose a color for, for this one here as well. Maybe let's just go with uh, this color here. And just like that we made our very own gradient background in Canva. Now that we have that background as I said before we are going to move our model back here on top. Just going to reposition it a bit and just like that we have finished our design. Now one cool thing that I would like to mention at this point is that some of these gradients here that we can find under the elements tab here under graphics actually let you customize more than two colors. As we have seen for this gradient here we got two color squares here on top that we can use for this very gradient. However some of these gradient elements on the graphics here they let you customize more than two colors. So we can find three color gradients there and even four color gradients which is really awesome. So I have prepared this page too for you guys here and with those two gradients here both of these here are also Canva free elements and now when I left click on that first element here you will see that on top here we have three color squares. So now that simply means that you can that you can customize 
three colors here instead of just two. So to customize that, you, you could simply click on one of these squares here and then choose your color, then click on the second one, choose your color, click on the third one, choose your color. And just like that, you will be able to make your very own three color gradient. Also, if you have a brand kit ready with your own colors, then you can obviously also just use your brand kit colors for your gradient by simply using the colors here under brand kit. However, it needs to be said that this is a Canva Pro feature. However, don't worry, even if you don't have Canva Pro, we have seen in this tutorial that you can basically use whatever color you want for your gradients. You would just need to make sure to add it from here under document colors, you can choose whatever color you want. Or if you do know the specific hex color of your colors, you could simply input it here directly as a hex color. Now, last but not least, if you would like to experiment a little bit with gradient backgrounds in Canva, I have another great hack for you guys. First of all, let me just delete this gradient that we have here on our first page. I'm gonna delete this second page for the moment as well to make more space for our original design. And now to get really creative with your gradients, what you can do is to go to photos here in the left toolbar and I would simply search for something maybe like nature. And now I kind of like the colors of this one here. So I would simply click on that to add it to our design. Right click on the design, set image as a background. Then I make sure to left click on the image here, go into edit image, under adjust, click on see all. And on the blur now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna completely blur this background and see what happens. Boom! Just like that we created another awesome gradient by simply blurring a photo from Canva's Photos tab. This actually works with almost any photo. So that is yet another amazing way to create a gradient background in Canva. So let us try that with some other photo as well so that you can see that this really, really works. So I'm simply going to delete that background here again. And uh, let's have a look what we have here. Maybe let's try that with that one here as well. That looks like a really interesting background. So after you added it to your design, right click on it, set image as background, then click on the image, go into edit image again, uh, under adjust, click on see all, and now move the blur fader to the right again. And just like that, we have created another amazing gradient background in Canva. You can obviously also experiment with these other faders here to further change the look of your gradient. For example, it can be nice to play a bit with the tint fader here as well to change the look of your gradient. Amazing. Now, if you would like to know about more Canva hacks to get your designs to the next level, then I highly suggest you to watch the next video on my channel where I will present to you the 30 greatest Canva hacks ever.